if you've ever watched the, uh, well, I can only say one of the greatest game shows in the 90s, Gladiators, ready? You're likely to remember Wolf, uh, who has come out saying that he could 100% give all these young pretenders a run for their money, despite the legend being 71 years of age. But he feels he's been ignored by the BBC. Yeah. He's not involved in the remake. Is this a sign that Gladiators is a, a, maybe a bit of a watered-down version of the original? Bound to be. Well, I think we should ask him. The legendary former star of the original show, Wolf, joins us this morning, as well as in the studio fitness coach, Hello. Nat Robertson, who says that the new generation of trainers and bodybuilders have a different, more knowledgeable mindset. Good morning to both of you. Gentlemen, um, thank you for joining us. You can wait there, you young whippersnapper with your ideas. Let's talk to the main <laughs> man live in New Zealand. Wolfman, welcome to Talk Today. How are you, son? Thank you. I'd just like to, before I answer the question about the new gladiators, I'd like to put something in perspective. Um, thousands of people would love to be a gladiator, you know, but these are the best of the best. They're there for a reason, not by luck, because they are so good. And I always relish a challenge, and I wouldn't want to challenge anyone in any event unless I thought they were the best. It brings out the best in me, and regardless of my age, I think I would 100% love to go up against them. Before we talk about that, um, just for people, because it was iconic, I slightly doubt whether uh, anything can recapture. I might be old-fashioned. I'm a bit weird that it's going on the BBC, but there you go. Um, what was it like working on that show? It was iconic, from the Scots guy going, gladiators ready, to those mass... It was an <laughs> amazing show, Mike, wasn't it? It was, but you've got to remember, uh, at the time... There wasn't Netflix, there wasn't Prime Video, you know. It was, for us, it was perfect timing because there was no family-orientated show, so it was just, you know, the timing was perfect and it was very strenuous. It looked very easy. Lots of people would come on and say, oh, it looked easier on television. It's a lot harder than people think. But what we've learned in retrospect is, you know, you talked about Netflix there. They did a whole series talking about the kind of toll it took on you, mm. on your bodies, on your family lives, on your personal lives. You know, you clearly yep. wish you were, you were taking part again this time round. But truthfully, what kind of impact did it put on you emotionally and physically when you were taking part? Um, emotionally, it was not so bad because... Uh, my wife was with me throughout the whole series and stayed in my hotel with me, so it was nice that I had her backing, so I wasn't a single person out there. Uh, physically, in the beginning, they were doing one show every th two or three days, and at the end, they were doing three shows a day. So it was very physically demanding. If you got an injury in the first show, and there's three shows that day, you're carrying the injury into the second show, and by the third show, you know, the injury is a lot worse, and then you've got to do it all over again the next day. Uh, so, Wolfman, 71 years of age, looking great. No air, but that doesn't matter. Um, and then we've got some young <laughs> pretender in the studio called Nat Robertson. Uh, Nat, welcome. Thank you. You're a, you're a fitness coach. I am you, I mean, you're quite outspoken. You say that the younger generation are like, they're different class. They're, <laughs> they, they, come on, man. Well, you wouldn't I, have beaten him in his heyday. Look at you. Well, well I mean, well, I look all right. Not but... compared to him in his heyday, Nat Robertson. Come on. <laughs> well, I, I don't know. It depends what you like. But <laughs> I, um, you know, I, I, I actually just think that what having grown up um, with a with a with a dad who was actually even would look at uh, Wolf's generation as soft and weak, and the new generation. He was an older man. He was born in the 30s, and he was a bodybuilder who was in the 60s. And you know, I, I grew up with this mentality of, you know, there's nothing like hard work, and you go in and you do it, and you grit your teeth and you work hard. But ultimately, I saw that in the long run, that kind of thing that's your doesn't. Dad on that's the my old right man. Now, there, yeah? exactly. Yeah. That 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 that, that doesn't necessarily carry through in the longevity of it is not uh, sustainable so what i think nowadays we have this ability and we have this access to more information than we ever have before that was him when he was 70. um and although he looked great it doesn't necessarily show that he, you know the, the injuries and things that he sustained with what do this... you mean so do yeah, you think do actually you there's quite a lot of effort into the the outside appearance, but that doesn't necessarily translate well, I think to the old, health and strength. It, well, exactly. The old school was all just, you know, it was all spit and sawdust, James. You went in there and you threw some weights around without any consideration for how it's affecting your body in the long run. You just want to pump your muscles up and look big and strong. You talk about steroids? 
Well, that's an, an aspect of it, for sure. But just in the, the, the whole way, nowadays you have cryotherapy, you have all these different methods of recovery yeah. and nutrition and yeah. science-backed. And so science the body can last longer. Let's, let's put that to Mike. You know, the, the elephant in the room, Mike, and, okay. and any show I do, we'll talk okay, about well, it. What do you, what do you, what do you, how do you respond yeah. to what Nat said, no. pal? I'll respond in this way. Because, as he said, the fitness has, has just left the light years away from what it was in the past. And you either go with that or you you don't. And I, I adapted. You know, I, I weigh all my meals. My nutrition is 100%. I can run, jump, climb, swim. I'm double the strength of most people. Uh, you know, because I use, I've never stopped. It's another day in the office for me. I've never stopped training and I always train extremely light, uh, sorry, extremely heavy mm -hmm. and light days. I, I alternate and uh, it's given me the longevity. And do you think that of the older... Wood, I've, I've never experienced sickness. Wolfman, do you think in terms of the older generation, Nat's mate's got an interesting point, do you think you're the exception to the rule? And I, and I have to ask the question. There's a lot absolutely, said, absolutely. There's a lot said that the older in... generation used... Steroids, yeah. did you see that? Did you see that in your generation? What, what do you got to remember is that from the get-go, they uh, had a policy in Gladiators where if you everybody had drug tests regularly, right. you know, they could turn up at your home, they could turn up at a personal appearance, and if you refuse to have a drug test, you're sacked on the spot. If you fail a drug test, you get one written warning, then you're sacked. Unfortunately, that's how we lost Shadow. So all of us were completely drug-free and we could prove that muscular athletes could really move fast and take part in lots of sports. I mean, even today, all I take is creatine and pre-workout and normal supplements, but I still, unfortunately, have to work out with guys um, in their 30s or early 40s because some of my age trying to work out with me, they'd be in the hospital a week later. So who would win then, you or the Wolfman? I want to bring this on. What's happening? Come on. What's the competition? I don't know. Let's make it up. What do you Should think? Get, I, like, <laughs> I want to do the one with the with the big thing and you you know you fight on the balance board. Jewel. Let's the jewel, get yeah. Mike, it's an absolute travesty <laughs> you're not in this series or a consultant. You're a bit you're a bit hacked off about that quickly, right? Oh, absolutely. I mean, I've contacted them, but it didn't even give me the courtesy of coming back to me. I just assumed that because it's the BBC and uh, their rival organisation, they just wanted to do everything from the get-go their own way, write their own narrative and stay away from the original show as much as possible. If, if you were a consultant on it, what lessons would you say, we got this wrong, don't do it like that? No, I wouldn't say they got it wrong. All I'd say to them is you should give more praise to the gladiators because they're the best of the best. These guys are there for a reason, you know? Yep. And I'm gonna, you're going to hate me, Wolfie, confidence. because I can He's, talk to you all yeah. day. They're telling me I've got to jump in. I love and respect you. You should all be right. on the series. I'm not watching. It'll be rubbish. But I am bringing you to the United Kingdom where the young pretender and you <laughs> can do jewel on this show, all oh, right? No no problem. You know, he's, I'll knock him off in 10 seconds. <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, good man. Thank you so much. And Nat, thank you as well. Thank you, you very much. We should have had the both in the studio.